Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So this video is in reaction to my previous video on entitlement at work. And I definitely missed a lot of points there. I want to elaborate further on some of them. So first of all, I think it is super important to differentiate between entitlement and self-respect. When we're in any situation where we are in a transaction with somebody, right? Where we're exchanging something with somebody, whether at work or in a relationship, there is a line between respect for others and respect for yourself. So respect for yourself is definitely something we need to have at all times. Entitlement is the excessive, unreasonable expression of that. And on the other side, respect for others, respect for your work, respect for your position, respect for your company, the extreme excessive uh, expression of that is overworking, neglecting other parts of your life, having very little to zero work-life balance. And this you can see in other cultures like Japan, for instance, or in China, where work is seen as the ultimate, most important thing in your life. And your work performance and how you conduct yourself at work and everything you do about work is so much more important than your family, than your kids, than your own health, than your stress levels. So there's the two different manifestations of excess. So entitlement is the manifestation of excessive self-respect and overworking, putting yourself last, putting your health last, putting all the other parts of your life last because you have put work on such a high pedestal is the excessive manifestation of other respect. And it is super important, I think, to take these and to analyze it and to find the middle way for yourself in between those two. So just like the Taoist principle of the middle way where things flow well and things flow healthily and there is no conflict, you are not in conflict about how you are treating others. You're treating others with integrity and you're respecting your work and your position and you're putting in everything you got because that's how you want to operate and that's where your work ethic is and you're also not allowing yourself to be exploited and to be treated badly and to be trampled on and to be gaslit or manipulated and from what i've seen of the struggles that younger generations may be encountering right now is that either you are entering into the workforce and you're putting in 8, 10, 12, 14 hours a day working for a company that might seem glamorous or has, you know, tons of shareholders, has a huge market cap and you're slaving away. And so you are neglecting yourself or you value yourself and what you bring to the table a little bit too much and you think you deserve higher pay, you deserve a bonus, you deserve all these benefits, but you're new to the workforce and the value you provide is just not really that high at this moment. So those two are not great, but if you come to the middle and you look for the good in both, then you will get ahead. From what I can remember of how it was when I was in my 20s, I did not know really anything about life. I didn't know about the different systems that we live in, the institutions that uh, control you know, how society works. I didn't know very much and I just worked really hard. And I think looking back if you're in your early 20s and you're more in the camp of working really hard because you just don't know what else there is to do and you feel this fear and this worry that you're going to fall behind you know what it's going to come to you and what 
you want is going to make itself known to you. So there's no need to worry. And what's most important right now is to develop your ability to work hard, is to develop your work ethic, is to build yourself up into a person who can grind, who can work all the way into the night and beyond. And that way, when you are working for yourself or you're working for a company that requires this of you because you're getting better pay, then you'll have that capacity. So that's why I really, really dislike this phenomenon of entitlement and just slacking off if you're not getting what you think you deserve. Because you're really throwing yourself under the bus. You're not doing yourself any favors by slacking off or holding yourself back or anything like that. I mean, if you're younger and, you, and you're and you new to the workforce, apply yourself. Apply yourself as much as you can because money is not the real asset you're after. The real asset is yourself and your skills. You're investing in yourself, okay? So if you're being lazy at work, if you're just not doing very much and you're just performing enough to prevent yourself from getting fired, well, that's really unfortunate. And you should apply yourself a little bit more so you can see what you're made of. So you can refine yourself and you can make yourself into a more valuable asset at the next company you're at, or even for your own business. If you start up a company yourself, well, how hard can you work? If you've never gotten used to working hard, then how can you apply yourself when you're working for yourself? All the previous jobs I've had, I was in my early 20s and I definitely worked overtime every day and I wasn't making as much as what I should have gotten paid. I wasn't making industry standard in that position. I was an IT technical editor and I was getting underpaid, but I worked my, my, my fingers to the bone, honestly, for that job. And even though it wasn't very fair to me and I wasn't getting the compensation that I should have gotten, you know what? I'm not unhappy with it because all that work and all that pushing and all that stress made me realize, look, Maria, if you can work this hard for somebody else, what can you do for yourself? So every skill I developed there not only the skill, but the mental grit I developed there. Working for somebody who didn't really appreciate me, well, I applied it to my own thing later on. And another position that I did, I worked under the um, CEO, another CEO. And one, one, one day, we were working till 1 a.m. And I mean, nowadays, I hear... You know, people are, are, oh, it's 5.01, I gotta go. Okay, it's 5.01, but the work hasn't been done yet. So if the work hasn't been done yet, and you're going to be behind tomorrow, then is that okay? Is that the standard you want to operate at? And also, so I keep going back to this, because everyone wants to be an entrepreneur nowadays. So if you aren't used to completing the project all the way through and you and you will just allow yourself to get off at 5 p.m. because that's when you are legally bound to be at work and it doesn't matter what's completed or what's not completed so when the time comes that you want to start your own business how hard do you think you can work at it if you have never pushed yourself to a place where you will just Go beyond the emotions, go beyond what you want to do, but you just got to do it because the money has to be made, because expenses have to be paid, and you have to make a living now, and it's all on you. So you'll have screwed yourself. You'll have screwed yourself because now you are not tough. All the opportunities you had to push yourself, regardless of compensation, the opportunities to make yourself harder and faster, more productive, able to tackle things more easily, solve problems, handle conflict. 
Now you don't have any of that practice. Then how are you going to produce anything later on for yourself? Every job we have is an opportunity for us to grow. I know that's a, a pretty cliche thing to say, but it's true. I've had quite a few jobs before I started my fitness business. I've been doing this fitness thing for almost 10 years now. This year will be 10 years. And all, I think about all the jobs I had and how I was treated, you know, I was overworked and I was underpaid. And at that time, I didn't really know. But I'm happy I did all that because we have to pay our dues. When you're first starting out, you have to pay your dues. That's just straight up what has to happen. There's no shortcuts. You just have to apply yourself and apply yourself and apply yourself and stay in situations that may be stressful or may make you feel defeated. And what happens when you encounter those situations? Do you give up? Do you fold? Or do you rise to the challenge and you say, you know what? Okay, fine. I'm going to take care of this. And you take ownership over it. Which way do you want to go? Which way do you want to go? And how do you want to become? What kind of person do you want to become in the future? Because slacking off and taking the lazy route, you'll become a certain kind of person. But then the other way, taking ownership, what you got to do, even if maybe the money isn't there for you to do it at this time. That will make you another way too. You'll be so much tougher. You'll be so much more empowered. You'll be so much stronger because you'll know, okay, look, if I can do it un under these conditions, then what the heck can I do for myself? So, of course, we want to have self-respect and make sure we're not getting trampled on. But at the same time, we got to have respect for the work we're doing. Because... The work we're doing is the conduit to the person we will become later, to the toughness and the resilience and the fortitude that we need to accomplish bigger things by ourselves, for ourselves. There is no shame in working hard, even if you're not getting paid well for it right now. So don't ever think you have to live up to all the, you know, TikTok sensations and all these people around your age or maybe even younger who are making seven, eight, nine figures. Easy come, easy go. Life is different for everybody. Life is so different. Everyone's paths are so different. So just focus on your own path. Don't compare yourself to anybody else. Just think about at this time, in my life, what's the best thing I can do? How can I show up well? How can I still retain respect for myself, but also not take the easy route, not take the easy way out? The real asset we're after is the person you're going to become after all this, because right now where you're at is just a stepping stone. It is one little phase of your life. And through this phase, you're going to emerge so much stronger and so much wiser and so much more capable at tackling problems later on. So don't squander where you're at right now, because either you squander it and you just think that, oh, because this job is not really worth it for me to put 100% in, I'm not going to put 100% in but then you're doing yourself a disservice, okay? Anyway, have an awesome day and go give it 110%.